Hey everybody, this is Greg, and I'm here with my family. We just finished watching Avengers Endgame, and so pretty much I saw it yesterday and with my boys, and then today I, see, I watched it today with my family. Anyway, so long story short, what do y'all think? Well, I have to admit, the first time I saw it, I didn't cry, but the second time I saw it, and this is a spoiler one, so you can tell it, whatever it is, so the second time I saw it, and I watched how... Scarlett Johansson's character, Black Widow, was willing to sacrifice her life. I thought that was, was such a powerful scene. And also, with Tony, Tony was going to die to save everyone he loved. You know? I, th I think also, it's like, there's several types, um, there were several situations where it's like, you have, um, you have it where, um, you know, the, uh, each one was willing to die for everybody else. You know? Each person was willing to give a life so that others might live. And that's so biblical. That's so right, right, right in the Bible. You know? And it's so biblical. So, anybody else have any ideas or any thoughts? Want to share? Just, just speak. How about you, honey? Well, the you know Tony Stark's wife that you know she had to let him go when he was dying. You know, just kind of say, "We'll be okay." Well, you know, I know you're, I know you're dying to have to let your husband die. That was. Hmm. I cried there because she had to say it's okay for you to you pass away. You know your daughter and I are gonna be okay. We'll, we'll even though obviously you don't want him to die. Yeah. And, but there's no way for anybody to really help him. There's no ambulances around or anybody can really help him. It's kind of like he's gonna die. So that was really sad. I really. I thought that was fat, sad, fad, sad. Anybody else? I also knew that mm -hmm. Tony was going to die. Because he has, like, too many problems, to be honest, in the story. Like, he's always stressing and stuff like that. So I think he was going to die because he's, like, kind of, like, trying to protect everybody. Mm-hmm. Like, all the time. So basically, he could, like, die or something. But... Which was true, like, yeah, which is true. I definitely think that Endgame was better than Infinity War. Tell us more. Tell us more. Why do you think that? Because I didn't cry in this one. Mm -hmm. I couldn't like I went one to like cry really badly but then I was like I gotta hold in my tears what would make why. you cry? which parts? I mean the the part where like I went out like trying to sacrifice yourself mm -hmm. but like also because that like this is my Hawkeye or something like, mm -hmm. that okay? he was like he had a family so but she didn't she was like a random person that really had any like She didn't even have power, basically, or anything. So, she was, like, a random character there. So, I, I kind of also, like, I don't know. I, it was like, she kind of had to die. Because, like, you know, everybody else has things that are important. And she'd really be yeah, anchors and something like that. But then, she didn't really have anything, so. See, I, I thought at one point that they were going to die together. I thought they both were going to jump off together, yeah. you know? And then I thought if they both jumped off, what would happen at that point? They, they wouldn't get a stone. They wouldn't get a stone. They'd both be dead. <laughs> <laughs> Their brains <laughs> crash. <laughs> They'd be both dead. They're like, oh, oh we oh, failed. Oh, we failed. We smashed it to the ground. What about, your, what about your status? I was... When the Captain America got the hammer, I was like, whoa. And like, yeah. He was like, worthy. Yeah. He's like, Thanos is going to get it now. Mm-hmm. But, didn't really but, but, but like, but Thanos actually survived that, so it's like, oh, come on. Even though like, like, like when Captain America just, just got it, and like, I was actually thinking that the hammer it was gonna, that all of them were gonna be worthy, and they're all gonna wield the hammer. And I thought like, and also this other point to my thoughts, that I thought the, the Thor and like Captain America were gonna use the hammer and like, like throw it back and forth to each other and hit like Thanos upside the head. 
Mm -hmm. They killed him the first time. Yeah. Yeah. They killed him the first time with the the thing. Yeah. Why couldn't they have done it again? Because, I mean, they they got it, like, how they saw it in the end of the first movie, you were like, get him, get him, just chop his hand off. And they did that, and they chopped his head off. They did both his hand and then his head. So we were like, yep, that's how it should have been in the first one, right? And then so when he did this time, it it, it was kind of like of no consequence because he already destroyed the stones. Hmm. He, he saw him, he's all cooking. He's all like little spices yeah, and stuff. Sorry, he's all I'm cooking. Like, he's just like cooking and right. enjoying his life. And I say like my, like my, my grandfather and my dad, you know, just I was here cooking all quiet in his house, you know, just uh, cooking. I was like, coming down storm, like, boom, and start beating him up, you know. How, how in the world, how can you enjoy your like quote unquote life after you just killed half the earth? Yeah, and also you killed your, your, your daughter or your, your kidnapped daughter to um actually do all that, you know? I guess he doesn't like her. Yeah, do you guys see any problems with the movie? Like, in terms of, like, any continuity or any um, time travel stuff? Um, my mm-hmm. is still calculating on that. Well, I thought it was very interesting about, like, even though this was going on in their time, what's his name with the, the swirly things? Mm-hmm. Doctor Strange? Yeah. Like, so he was figuring out another plan in his time so he could possibly come back. Yeah. So, like, everybody was kind of, like like, trying to figure out how they could come together to help each other at the right time, at the right place, and everything like that. So it had to kind of all come together in the times. Exactly. Yeah, I thought that was very interesting. And also, um, uh, I think I found an error, but I don't really know. Um, uh, and the part when there's, like, two nebulas... So, like, the future Nebula killed the past Nebula, but wouldn't that affect the future Nebula? That's exactly what I thought, too. I thought the uh, same yeah, thing, yeah. I said I thought the, the same, same thing. thing. Yeah, I said it, yeah. If, 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 like, she, she, kill, she, she killed her. She should have yeah, died. She like, killed her younger her, self. Yeah. She killed herself in the past, which kill her in the future. But then yeah. here, here's something I found out about the whole thing, right? I was I was talking about this on my, um, my when I did my um uh, explanation video about time travel. You see like this, right? The time travel, the timeline that you are on is like a string, right? Like the lady was talking about, it's like you're on one line, and there's another line above your line, right? And it's a different timeline, right? So it's a different one. So what, what you're doing, you're actually going to go and take a piece from somebody else's timeline and bring it back to yours. So you're not like, you're not like going, actually time traveling, you're time traveling, but in somebody else's, else's um, timeline. So you can't go back in time in yours. You can't mess with anything. So yours is kind of like exact copy, but it's in a different dimension kind of thing. So let's say, let's imagine, so you imagine A, B, C. You're in A, the timeline they went to is B. And then B, they took something from B and brought it back to A. And mm-hmm. that's what they did. So they, they, so they went into the, the past of B, and they got the stone. And they brought it back to, to, A's, to A's present. Then they're going to bring it back to, to B. Because, you know, what happens like there's no, you can't mess with the timeline that you're on. You can't, you can't change your, 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 your future. Which is, which is weird for me, because here it is, I said this before too, that Captain America... When he stayed, you know, he stayed, in, I guess, in the alternate timeline, you know, and then he just lived with, um, with, with Peggy, you know, Peggy Carter. Mm-hmm. And it was just like, I, I mean, that, that was weird for me because, I mean, so he grew up in an alternate dimension and then he came back when he was old or something, you know? What? Yep. But then I, I was thinking that he shouldn't age. He, he can't, he, he can't get, you know, the super soldier serum wouldn't make him age, you know? He didn't do that. Maybe, Maybe he, got... he didn't even do for the freezing. Maybe he didn't even do that. No, he had to because he was a super skinny was man big. before. Who was that? Like, oh, yeah, he was a super yeah. skinny yeah. So guy before. Yeah. Obviously. Had the super solar serum would have kept him young. He would have came back to be an old person, and but then he had to show um, that he was older now. Yeah. You know? So he's going to continue, but he's going to be an old man. He's like in his 90s or 100 years old. 90s? Mm-hmm. So that's interesting. So he went and fought all these battles, survived, went back in time, um, got with um, Peggy because, you know, that time he was asleep on the ice. Yeah. All that time he was asleep uh-huh. on the ice. So the other self, when the other self would pop up, mm-hmm. the other self would pop up and do everything that he did in the current. But yeah. by the time he spent it with Peggy. Well, I yeah. thought it was like, kind of like interesting. Like when they were supposed to go back in the past. I like you all Peggy. It's Agent Carter. They, they, yeah. they <laughs> shouldn't have talked to anybody. They weren't supposed to like... See their other self. Mm-hmm. They weren't supposed to talk to anybody and change anything. Mm-hmm. They weren't supposed to talk to the mom, and the mom was like, I guess, obviously the most wise of that situation because she was like, "Don't tell me." 
Yeah. This is about you. Don't tell me about me. All right. Don't tell me about me. Don't change my future. Don't, and go fix yours. Yeah. You know, and she's like the only wise one, you know, in that way. Not that, you know. There was another error I said just saw all the time. Hmm? Was it? There was like an error I saw that when like Captain America was fighting this Captain America self, I didn't see them, them like, like your hands going morphing together. <laughs> you know, because like... No, see, see, there, it's two different dimensions. He wasn't in the same timeline as he was in the past. It wasn't in his past. It was the past of his, of, of, of um, so, it's, um, dimension A, dimension A, they're all in dimension A, right? And then there's, they got killed by Thanos, right? Everybody got killed by Thanos in dimension A. In dimension B, it hadn't happened yet. They're getting killed by Thanos, okay? So they went back in time in dimension B, and, they, and they're not part of it, so they're able to go and take a piece from that one and go back to dimension A. So it's like, I'm here on this line, on line A, and I can't go back in my own past. I can't go back and stop Thanos because they tried to get the stones, and he already destroyed the stones. So they can't go back and get the stones. So they, if they went into Dimension B, right, they can go to Dimension B and get um, the stones, which they did, and revive everybody. But the thing, the one that got me was how did he put back the stone for Natasha, right? For, mm -hmm. for Scarlet Witch, for, um, for um, Black Widow. Where did that go? Because if he had to put back all the stones, how did he put back the stone for Black Widow? Yeah, yeah you know what I'm Maybe saying? Maybe she like, came back to life again. Would she come back to life? he said, here, take the stone back. Whoop, give me my person. Hey, g hey, hey, Mountain, give me my person back. I got a stone or here for you. Maybe she be like a zombie or something. Cause, maybe she comes back some other way. Well, what about, yeah. the, what about the chick? Well, I think uh, just going to forget it. Gamora's tired. sister? Yeah. How did, how did supposedly she reveal... reveal a plan nine years uh -huh. into the future, seven years into the future, by her little, you know, eyeball camera thing. I guess so they shared the same Wi Fi. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. Mm -hmm. That's weird. Sweet Bluetooth. That was weird. Bluetooth. It was cool when they had. It'd be cool to have them have a, a Hulk fight. So they show Hulk, Hulk in the past and Hulk in the present, and he's like, ah. So cheesy. Ah. Did you like he's the like, new Hulk? No. No. He's weird. He was the worst. Uh, <laughs> he, he's, he's kind of like he's trying to like, like, I like his, like, settle with his, his normal his, self like, and yeah. angry self, trying to make one out of himself. Yeah, I like his normal personal self. Yeah, somebody said, not his, like, somebody said in a, in a, in a review, he said that he, he, yellow Hulk. He, he, got, he got lost on both sides, because what happened, um, Natasha, um, Black Widow liked him as um, Bruce, you know, Bruce yeah. Banner, and then the other one, the Valkyrie lady, liked him as um, the Hulk. And when she saw him, she said, oh, I like, I like the other you. I like either one of you, but not this one, this combination. Hmm. It's like Combo Hulk didn't like it. Huh. You know? Yeah, it looks weird. It's like he gets stuck in, like, the middle transforming or something. What do you think about how Tony died? Mm, I was kind of thinking... I kind of saw it. I think he's, like, a, he's <laughs> a little really. antagonistic yeah. a little bit. How he died? He's kind of, kind of a little ta antagonistic in, in, in some of the videos. What do you mean? Uh, actually, in, in Civil War, he was an anta antagonist, which is kind of like I saw this coming for some reason. And like, and then he like he kept like he kept changing his like, attitude every single time. It's like in some of his videos, he was, he was like a hero, but in, in Civil War, I think he fought better in Civil War. Yeah, Civil War, they found out that um, Bucky killed his parents, so he got really mad at Bucky. Mm -hmm. He was gonna yeah, kill him. Right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah? And in, in, in chronologic, right after Civil War was um, Spider-Man: um, Homecoming, and so that's why he's trying to be a mentor to Spidey, to um, the Tom Holland Spider-Man, and then he had him like in the fight of Berlin, um, fighting um, you know Civil War. Then they have the next thing where it's like here he had Infinity War and he loses loses um, Spider-Man. I, I thought it was so, I started tearing up when he hugged him. Yeah. He's like he's like you know he's like hey Mrs. Spider and he gave him a hug he's like yeah, this is nice you know like thank you you know because. Last time he he pretended to hug him, reaching for the door. He's like, oh yeah. Yeah, and then this one he really hugged him, and it was like it took five years for him to get like the completion of his um his arc, um you know Robert Downey Jr. Um, uh, Tony Stark Iron Man, and then even and see the last thing in the first movie, for, last thing he said was what, I am Iron Man, right? Mm. And the last thing he said here was, well, before the last thing he said, I guess you know. Yeah, that was I, the last clear thing. He last said. clear thing he said was you know he said hey babe. It was the last thing he said hey babe. Well, I never it's a, I am that. Iron Man, and then he snapped his fingers. It, apparently, if you have the, if you wield the Infinity Stone, it will kill you. I think wow. in the um, 
how it should have ended. It's probably gonna have like, like when he says, I am Iron Man, and then I am Batman, and gonna have like, some weird like, fight thing. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm Batman. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm Batman. All right, anybody else want to add something? Look here, what, are you, what do you want to say? Go ahead. Uh, I like the part where Spider-Man came and Black Panther and Star got kicked by uh, Gamora mm-hmm. in, the knee, in the kneecap. Yeah, mm-hmm. right in the kneecap, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah, she funny. didn't know him. He thought she he was didn't like, know him. He's like, I'm so glad to see you. You died and now I see you. And it's like, uh, it's all the dimension. So, okay, so in that situation, did she go back? Through the thing too, you know. Did she have to go back to another dimension, or did she have to stay in this new current one? I so I mean, like, because because what happened? The, the old sister, the sister of the, from the past, she's dead, and the ship is gone. But she, but the new sister is on the ship. Where's Gamora? I guess Gamora would have to be there too. Maybe. Well, maybe why is he looking? Yeah. Like why her? was he searching for her? Yeah, that's what I said. Wow. To be continued. Maybe well, well, he, he, well, to call her or well, well, you have it where he's going to be in Guardian Galaxy Part Three. Yeah. Huh? What's going on? So Thor's gonna be in that one. Never ending saga. They want money. What yeah, they're pretty much. Ah, never ending saga. So um, what do you think about Thor belly? <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was, I, all I can keep thinking is how how did they do that? Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. How did they make that like fake a belly? belly? No, no, no. I mean, well, look at look at how they made what's his name so young. They made everybody like young. You couldn't tell who was anyone. I thought Robert Redford died. Is he dead? No, he's uh, alive. So? I thought Robert Redford it's was dead. Editors. Oh, yeah, I guess, but you had him like talking, and I was like, wow, they did a wonderful job of of, of de-aging people. Robert, I don't think Robert Robert Redford is dead. Yeah, I thought he died. Are you sure? I'm mean, check it. I was thinking that, 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 that actually Loki would actually come into the battle. But well, Loki escaped. You saw that, yeah. right? That was in the Oh, past. yeah. Which means, obviously, that if he escaped, maybe he'll survive. Or something like well, they, they changed that timeline. They went there, and because what happened, he was like, Loki was like, what? That was weird. What kicked it? And after that, it's the thing, and it opened up, and then and he took it. And he's like, peace out. <laughs> I mean, he's still alive in that. I was going to have something like that, and the house should have ended. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, so in in their in their timeline A, Loki died. In timeline B, Loki's still alive because he I'm escaped. He escaped right then. The Robert word... Redford is still alive. He's eighty-two years old. Oh really? Oh my goodness! Okay, well I was wrong. Sorry, sorry, buddy. Now what's the other guy that plays the dad of the Ant Woman? Um, <laughs> oh. Michael Douglas. Michael Douglas? Huh? No. Michael Douglas. No. Michael Who's Douglas. The they made him uh, really nice. Yeah, they aged him. They oh. aged him twice. Well. Um, yeah, once. You made him long hair? Yeah. He's 74 years old, Michael Douglas. And what's a, what's a lady? Uh, Michelle Pfeiffer? Yeah, Michelle Pfeiffer. Ruffer. Michelle. Ruffle. Uh, Michelle. Hey, when she was in Batman and stuff, she was like, well, she was in her 30s or 40s? Yeah. Okay, what I said. Probably in her 60s, huh? 61 years old. 61, wow. Michelle Pfeiffer, 61. So, yeah, definitely uh, a movie that was, um, how long? Three hours long? Three hours, exactly. Three hours long. The free popcorn. That was really nice. Mm-hmm. Okay, don't step on my stuff over there. I'm not um, to I wish I could go there again. Yeah, it was pretty good. I mean, I have to think about all the stuff. You There's know. a lot of things in this movie. There was a lot of, like, little hidden things here and there. What were, what were you thinking? Yesterday you were like, oh, there's a lot of lessons. Oh, I thought about in terms of tears. Um, there was um, I thought about the sacrifice. There was um, Tony talking to his father. Yeah. There was Thor oh, talking yeah, to his like mother. That. Yeah, that was there was sad. um, Tony talking to Peter. Me. There was um, um, Pepper talking to Tony. There was um, um, Natasha talking to, to to Hulk and Hulk talking back to her, and then they were sharing. A I lot about, of like, how, a lot of life but, regrets. Like, right. Like uh, like a life regret. So so Tony met his dad. Yeah, and he always wanted to talk to his dad. In the first Iron Man movie, he he cried. He said, I never got a chance to really get to know my dad. Right. You know, I never really talked to him much, you know. And in this one, he was able to talk to him, having a good heart-to-heart dad and conversation. And give him a big hu- hug. Mm-hmm. He's like, uh... That's why he doesn't realize it's his son. I know, but he's like, good guy, he seems familiar. See, that was where it was so powerful. Son, it would be like, mm. 
Well, yeah, the, but yeah, what I'm saying, like, them, be like, oh, what's up? You're, you're creepy. So I, I, thought, I thought how they wrote that it was really, really wonderful. I thought it was a really good thing because, like, you know, he got. Yeah, um, you know. He died. Oh my goodness. When, when I'm what's it? When I'm when Hawkeye, Hawkeye was gonna. He was gonna. He's willing to die. I, I'm jumping. I'm doing this. And then what's her name? She she uh, she jumped and she saved him, right? And she she, she she sacrificed herself. That I'm telling you, there was so many things in this movie that I thought was really really good. You know, they they they, they said that it was um different you things. You miss your dad. You miss your mom. Mm-hmm. When they leave. You need your family. You, you have children. You miss your girlfriend. You miss your wife. You miss your husband. And they miss, their, miss when they, yeah, when they uh, husband die, miss their dad when they die. Right. And, and they have a thing where it's like, um, they miss people. Somebody was saying, let me say anything about, like, here's a, a couple thoughts. That if they brought everybody back in the time, somebody said this and it was really interesting. I um, listened to a review and he said, everybody who was brought back is not as nice as it sounds because some people were on an airplane, you know, people were on airplanes and where were they when they got returned? Are they going to be in the sky falling? <laughs> You know, five years yeah, later, right. and then you have uh, people like, or you know, people who, who, you know, one year they got their their wife died or their husband died, and they remarried somebody, mm-hmm. you know, and then now the person's back, their husband or wife mm-hmm. is back. What's gonna happen then? They have children at this point, you know, you know, people have moved on, you know, some people couldn't, some people did, mm-hmm. you know. What about the ones that are like, um, you have the animals, what the animal situation? Like when they come back, they're gonna come back, you know, half, of, you know, everything's gonna come back, and then. um... I guess all the people from 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 Thor's place, you know, all the um, people. No, nobody got killed before that time. Well, I think about Thanos. He, he supposedly in the future he killed half half the Earth or whatever, and then he wants to get the hand again and kill everybody. Yeah, this time he's like, you know what? I realize that the people are sad, are sad, you know, and those who remember always mourn ungrateful, ungrateful wretches. So you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna wipe everybody out. Ungrateful wretches. Mm-hmm. You're the one that's bothering everybody. Yeah. So I was thinking. Just I for you to go cook in the garden. Why don't you just make everything better? Make people make people have more food. So you know yeah. what? I'm gonna create more stuff. Let's have more food. Yeah. Or or make things make things bigger so they can house more people. You know how to, and then it's like not only that you kill the half the universe, so you have half the food. Half the food has begun too. All the green life, everything organic is killed. So and then he's gonna go back and rebuild everything from zero. So he's gonna do the whole total annihilation thing. Mm. You know? And just save himself. Really, he'd be like the god of the entire universe. You know? The ultimate elite. Mm-hmm. And also, elite. like, how did, like, so, like, b- before Thanos killed, like, a whole bunch of people, and all of a sudden he's, like, talking about, like, making everything, like, 50% of people or something, like, half it and stuff like that. Yeah. But didn't he kill, like, a whole bunch of people before? Mm-hmm. It wouldn't be, like, half. It will be, like... Yeah. Yeah. He wiped out, like, for example, Asgard. The, on the ship, they the blew up the whole planet. ship. And right. planet, it was just him right? and Loki left, right? Him and Loki and the last two people. You didn't see anybody else. You didn't have to see Valkyrie on that ship in the first oh, Infinity War. Yeah. It all, and if it was half the people, there's even two people left. That means only one person in the whole place would live, and only another person wouldn't, you know? Mm-hmm. So you'd have, like, one living and the rest be dead. Anything else? And hit him, his belly would punch him or something? Oh, like like, like a Kung Fu Panda thing? Like where you punch him? Or hit him like... Boom. Boom. Yeah, or, or like... Yeah. Did somebody saying that they, they, glad, they glad they kept him the way he was? That he didn't like magically get fit? When he became like, you know, Thor with the lightning? That he was still kind of plumpy? You know? Oh, I didn't notice that. He still said the same. He didn't get fit, you know? But then I was like... I don't know. I, I thought there's a couple things they talked about. Like how, you know... Well, purpose in life. Yeah, there was a lot of handing things over. Some people said they should have given the the the, the, the uh, hammer, the, the 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 shield instead of to um to Bucky. um. You should give it to Bucky. Yeah, Bucky. But then, but somebody somebody said that Bucky was an assassin. He was a Winter Soldier for so many years. He was out killing people. And he was a terrorist, you know, colluding with the Russians. You know how it is. So, so you know that was know. that's the only one he was doing. So he couldn't be, you know. He couldn't be an American patriot, but then somebody said, well, maybe he could be redeemed. You know, this is a movie about redemption, about how people start off bad and then they fix themselves. I think I think the reason they say Thor got really sad, because he went to kill him and he missed. And because he missed, everybody died. You know? Make sure yeah. he didn't. I don't know, I just thought, thought also purpose. Like, what's it called? Captain America couldn't go on. Yeah. And then Thor couldn't go on. And all these people couldn't go on with their, in a sense, their futures. 
like okay well you know what their hopeful hopeful futures a lot of them couldn't go on and that's a sad aspect of life too there are people that can go on and they go on and they make a pretty good go of it and there's some that just cannot get over it and I don't want to be that you know yeah it's one of those things you know it's like everything has to come to an end everything else has to come to an end you can't have things like you know constantly going on forever so you kind of want them to keep going. Some people say that they may not even continue watching the whole Avengers stuff because they feel as though the Avengers, like, you know, that was conclusion. That was a cold, total um, conclusion. Not collusion. I keep saying that. Total conclusion. Everything was finished and Iron Man is gone. And now, I mean, there's Iron Iron Woman and Iron there's Baby. Always things to, there are always things to fight, obviously. I mean, look at Superman or, or Batman or, or Spider-Man. There's always bad guys to catch. You know, yeah, but not probably not as a as big of scale like this one. But yeah, yeah. just think about how you know, think of Thanos compared to Stephen Wolf. Like what? Who's Stephen Wolf? I don't know. You know? Oh yeah, yeah I didn't see him. Just, yeah, so just like yeah, and it was like you were like, eh, what happened? You know, he was very clear cut. He kept on saying he was very like he was a battle hardened soldier, yo. A Why Thanos guy. Want to take over the world. The world's not something you want to take over. I don't think he wanted to take over the world. I think he wanted to just have to balance it out. He said, look, listen, it's inevitable. What do you guys think about Captain Marvel? Uh, it was kind of I mean, cheesy. She kind of came too late at the end. Yeah, yeah she tried she to help. Where was she? She was making up some monkey <laughs> well, I mean, she came and killed that ship. Imagine. That was like the ship of Damn. control. I feel, yeah. had a feeling that she could have done more. More. Yeah. Well, she got, she, got, she got slapped real hard, yo. But she's she's, just, she's supposed to be the person that... The, 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 couldn't really survive out and she, she was supposed to be the new, newest hero they were supposed to get. Mm-hmm. And she couldn't even beat Thanos at all. She was like, I'm yeah. tossed to the side. None well, of them could. Well, None of them could, could yeah. Beat Thanos because it would be like, because they haven't planned out how he's going to die and if, it, she, if she kills him like, right away, then it'll be kind of useless and plan it out. Jesus. Or that. I you know, know I was thinking about like how much they must have really had to think this all through to make this into two movies. And each scene... It must have taken a long time just to write the script, you know? Because it was like many, many, what, 11 years to get this whole thing complete, you know? So anyway, so, um... What you think about? I, I think, um, in terms of Captain Marvel, I think that, you know, she was like... They had, they, they explained, they had her come in a little bit of the thing, you know, with her, um, beeper in the last movie. But then it was like, they had to put the whole movie there, which I haven't seen yet, so I don't know what it is. And then... And then having her come into the thing, she came in in the beginning and in the end. So that was kind of the thing there. All right. So anybody else want to share something real quick before I, I sign off? Anybody else? We're yeah, okay. We're good. All right. Let's go. Thank home. you, Greggy. Oh, you're you welcome, family. And I got you guys here just in time. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Well, we're All actually right. a little late. A little late, but you didn't miss anything much. Everything was, um, well, I mean, you missed some, some interesting parts, but, you know. All right, so just the beginning before the Avengers thing came down. All right, thank you all so much for listening. Um, peace and God bless. And again, um, there was a lot of things in this movie. God L- Element? Yeah? Can talk about God Element? Oh, God Element? We can talk about that. Are we talking about how, you know, they died, like, um, sacrificed their life like Jesus. Okay. Yeah, they were willing to sacrifice their life, and then Tony made a decision. You know, he loved his family, and he's willing to die so that his family could live and everybody could live because now it was going to be total annihilation. It wasn't going to be half and half. You know? Yeah. Everybody was going to die. Everybody's going to die. So instead of it being the eugenics properties of where they're going to just kill half and then keep the elite alive, instead they're going to annihilate everybody and wipe everybody out so that it would be, you know, just um, Thanos and the Infinity Gauntlet again. And um, so that was um, something there. Infinity Stones. So I... I, I know, just like the witchcraft, stuff like that. The witchcraft, the, the powers that... You know, powers that the people had. The alien um, life forms. Yeah, the aliens. Uh, the old, the aspect of, oh, there's many, many planets and life on other planets and everything like that, which I, I mean, there's, and they said Jesus' name in vain. Mm-hmm. And they, uh, so, you know, there's, you know, different things. The God element of the thing is that, you know, like God created the heavens and the earth. And as far as what the Bible says is that we are the the only persons, uh, creatures yeah. on earth right. 
uh, that God is a, made Earth a special place of creation. Exactly. And um, of His creatures, you know, humans and animals and the life forms, and that uh, that God, you know, gave His Son Jesus. And Jesus died, was buried, and rose again. That anyone that believes in him shall have everlasting life. And I think that, you know, all this stuff is all, you know, fun and games and, you know, creativity and, and the money that goes towards it and everything like that. It's all entertainment. But in reality, it's something to kind of just put your mind on for a moment. Get some deep thoughts out of it if you can. But then you really have to live your own, your life. Yeah. And you have to live it for God's glory and God's honor. And uh, I don't believe there's other life forms out there. And uh, nor aliens. Right. And nor special people that have these special powers from witches or warlocks or yeah. anything like that. I mean, obviously, the devil has his powers that he gives people if they, su you know, submit to him. And... Um, you know how they always said, like, in um, the movie, so magic has a price? Yes. There's always a price with magic. Yes. So, yes, so, you know, that, it's all a made-up universe, it doesn't exist, it right. only exists in people's minds, and exactly. as they put their mind on to be entertained, and there's a lot of other things out there that, you know, to really focus on, you know, so, that was my, my, my part. Thanks, honey, so, pretty much we have, um, we're gonna wrap it up here. I just want to say thank you so much for listening. Um, you made it this far. Um, you know, different thoughts and you know, things that we saw, saw and noticed about the movie. Um, we thought it, was, I thought it was pretty good. Really good. This is my second time seeing it, and I thought it was really good. Um, there's a couple things that, that I, I'm questioning about it that I'll maybe talk about in another video. But just for now, I just want to say thanks, kids, for, 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 for it, and say bye, kids. Bye. All right. All right. Have a good night. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.